What's happening? Guys, gals, and NB pals. I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favorite kiwi trans girl, and red alert, I've received more DMs. What the f***? And they were predictably terrible. F Who sent me this? Are you gay? F yeah, man. Starting a revolution in my pants. Just be aware, some revolutions have involved beheading. And there's another little exciting thing. We hit 500 subscribers! And to celebrate that, today's video is gonna be extra long and full of extra funny things and I have a little special something for you at the end. Stay tuned. You will honestly not believe it. It is the most ridiculous interaction I have ever had in my life. Let's dive in, shall we? So I posted a story on my Instagram at some point saying that I was feeling mischievous and I was going to start a revolution. What kind of revolution? Can I join? I'm going to take control and form an army of femboys. Join me. And together we can rule the galaxy. You will train to conquer lands. Ohio specifically. Distract the enemy with hotness and maid outfits. Do you really think Ohio is worth conquering? <laughs> no? I think Ohio is worth annihilating. I know you most probably won't see this, but uh, I can't believe you say you don't like your side profile. It's so pretty. More than you think. It's actually quite a nice message. And yes, it did make my day a little bit better. Take care of those who draw you joy. Thank you, Master Ugwe. Hello, you are beautiful. Do you sell pictures? I have an account on iStock Photo where I sell stock pictures of me holding Nerf guns. Will that do? Please continue to share your photos and moments. I will! You couldn't stop me if you tried. Hi, girls. Hi! And of course, we gotta have just the normal dose of uh, weird thirstiness like we normally have on these videos. What is this? Is this like the third video I've done now? I think I just came across my new favorite Instagram. Thank you. And again, I posted another Story saying I was feeling mischievous. What mischief? I am going to gather an army of femboys in Addicts, Ohio. I'm just that kind of gal. To which he responded, I'm fucking here for it. Let chaos reign. <laughs> you will make a good femboy for my army. And for the record, my vote is for your right leg. Hashtag team right leg. How dare you? Left leg forever. I'm trying to get my leg on screen. This one. You left leg elitists always keeping the blue collar right legs under your tyrannical thumb or toe. Heel. The heel of my boot. Get ground to dust, you right legged fool. Damn. This is precisely my thought whenever I see Dacre Montgomery. Hi, can I talk to you because I am looking for transgender woman to become my girlfriend. You're gonna have to try a little bit harder. Maybe you come back with cheesecake? I'm struggling right now with my identity and I don't really have anyone to talk about it. So I thought we could talk about transitioning and stuff maybe, if you want of course. Hey, now jokes aside, I actually get a lot of messages like this. I always try and respond and I will always try and help everyone I can, but as you can tell I get a lot of DMs these days and sometimes I just can't get to them all. I just want all of you to know that if you're struggling, I'm here with you. And yeah, feel free to send me a message. Even if I don't respond, I will have at least read it. 8.5 inches here, would love to show you. <laughs> oh, midget. This dude's just a fucking borrower. One of those little guys from the movies back there. Oh my gosh. I wanna flick him around. Maybe he can, he might be a good companion for my friend. My name is Sonja. I was just thinking it might be a good companion for my friend Sergeant Brickley. Yes, bring me more meat. How I can make you fall in love with me? That's a good question. I've never thought about that before. I'm actually coming up blank. Am I... Am I heartless? Prove your worth. Don the maid outfit. Advance on Ohio. Show me your prowess in battle and I may consider you. Now do Ekel Transa. Habe noch nie so ein schlecht geschminkten Kerl wie dich gesehen. Was my pronunciation okay? I have this weird thing where I can like totally pronounce any f***ing German word, but I have no idea what it means. Doppelkeplungsgetreiber. You appear to be someone who'd be quite assiduous about their driving, but also someone who'd try to jump an opening swing bridge. I'd be okay with that. If I'm going to die, let it not be t-boned by an uber with a chop suey order going cold because he had to pee, but in brief but spectacular flight before just missing the lip of a bridge and plummeting onto a garbage barge below. This is the best message I've ever received. <laughs> 
This is f***ing fantastic. It's also so accurate and so dramatic. What does this mean? <laughs> what? You drop your fishing line in the water, but you never know for sure what you'll haul up. Well, you definitely won't haul up the body of Mike Phillips because he's weighed down by concrete. Oh, this is horse crap. I was watching your latest video and was promised you had an OnlyFans. Where it is, no one knows. This is completely unacceptable. I, for one, will not stand for such treachery. <laughs> oh, you think you have a f***ing choice? You should perhaps consider the fact that throughout all of my videos I am a serial deceiver and pathological liar. Deceiver and liar? You're a goddamn succubus. Hi, goddess. I have a question if that's okay with you. Huh. What is? I like that. Whatever. Fire away. Wondering if I could tell you my fetish. I should have seen this coming. Do you know what femdom is? Ah! Ah, I do know what femdom is. I have found another recruit. Aw, then he unsent her. But you can't get anything past me. <laughs> uh, awkward you saw that. Well, I'm a sub. I was wondering if you'd want to dominate and humiliate me, goddess. Of course. Put on the maid outfit. Now. I'll do anything you tell me. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is how the army begins. It's a pretty simple recruitment process, I'll be honest. I mean, they just f***ing come to me. Would I be able to send you a d*** pic? If you don't want one, that's totally fine. But I think you'll like what you see. Wow, so polite. But... That is actually possibly the first time anyone has ever actually listened to me. He did what I said. He didn't send me a dick pic. Oh, for f**k's sake. Are you owned? No. Hmm, I've been in this for as far as I can remember, so it's like my second nature. I know a pit when I see one. What the f I mean, he's not wrong, but... Oh, really? Because I sense that you are a pet. You gave me the feeling that you have it in you. To give yourself away. To give away total control. So you either prove me wrong, or just say, yes, sir. You can't f***ing control me. If the government can't make me pay my taxes, what the f*** are you gonna do? Very beautiful, wonderful, very sweet, elegant, sexy, you have a super body. You are so gorgeous. Your body is wonderful, like clear water. I want to see you naked. Can you send me a bear video, please? I have been told I'm a tall glass of water. Very clear. I've also been told that I'm gonna age like fine wine. In a basement. Untouched. Aw, cute pip. Wait. Oh my god! Who sent me this? So you're scrolling through the bullshit and chases. Here is a resting spot for your journey. Thank you so much. I need a minute. Oh my god. You know, that was such a roll of the dice. That could so easily have been a dick pick and I would have opened it. Also, I agree. Dicks are hardly attractive and I've sucked my fair share, so I hope my opinion counts. Uh. Relatable. Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Freaking you is all I need. Go back to f***ing bed. And then wake up and get a job. Get a life. Please. Why... Why are you sending me... What? And why are you calling me? Oh my god, leave me alone! I know how much you hate Haze. Haze, f Sorry I am really high at the moment. Give me a while to think of something. At least you tried. 10 out of 10. This is actually the best d pic I've ever received. It is the only time it would ever be appropriate. The little stick man and he's saying, hi, I'm Richard. That's so clever. That is so clever. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. And I don't do that very often. But I really wanted to thank you for making your videos. They are some of the most chaotic and amusing things I've seen on the internet. I swear my fat mate thinks I'm going crazy since they make me laugh so much. Very few things bring me quite so much joy, and I hope you keep making more. Thank you. I will. So I heard you like pictures of yourself, so I made this edit of Brook Valley laughing at your latest video. You two are my favorite trans content creators. Oh my god, that's f***ing adorable! I love you so much! You just made my f***ing day. Hi! I am here! Oh god, where? I'm looking! I'm here! Oh sh In an effort to make this kind of thing more stomachable, I usually wash my feet by using jam between my toes. Specifically apricot jam, because apricot jam is superior to all other jams. Also, Americans call jam jelly, and jelly is a completely different thing. Jelly is like wiggle 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 jelly dessert, you know. Where am I going with this? Hi, mistress. Hello, darling. Are you all dressed up and ready to march? Here you go. The standard issue. One man takes the rifle, the next 
Ammunition. Hello, I've watched some of your videos and you have a good voice. I'm a trans woman as well and I'm curious how you got your voice to the point where it is. Do you have any voice training tips or strategies that have worked for you? Hey, I'm just gonna shout out trans voice lessons here. She can do no wrong. That's absolutely how I learned to speak femme. And yeah, if you're looking for some first steps, go follow her and follow her exercises. She really, she knows how to do it. Especially considering how low my voice used to be, I think my voice transition is testament to her prowess. Because I used to sound like this. Deuteronomy 20 Two, five. A woman shall not wear a man's apparel, nor shall a man wear a woman's garment. For whoever does such things is abhorrent to the Lord your God. See, when I receive messages like this, I have an instinct to dive a little bit deeper and find out why they might have sent such a comment. So I found this person's account and I sent a DM. Your comment on my post really moved me. I've never read that scripture before. Tell me more. And he just got confused. So obviously he was brave enough to put a shitty comment on my post, but not brave enough to actually debate me. Please stop, repent now. Regain masculinity, regain control. Care to be my tour guide when I come to visit Australia? I'm from fucking New Zealand. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, I can't show that. I don't know what to say to this. Let me give you a description here. That is a picture of a man's head, and then it's like got a cutaway showing what he's thinking of, and he's thinking of a trans woman spread for Jesus. Go ahead, ban me. That won't make you a woman. <laughs> Getting banned won't make you a man either. But again, I wanted to dive deeper. Hey, I found your comment on my post super interesting. I would like to hear more of your view. And I actually got a bit of a response from this guy. I don't really care. I just wanted the ban. Which is kind of strange to me. Like, why, why is that something you want? I legitimately don't know. I meant no ill will towards you or anyone else. You're all within your right to do what you want. I just wanted the ban. So strange. Is it like a bragging right among his friends or something? No, I'm a Redditor. I have no friends. I appreciate you trying to comprehend my actions instead of incessantly attack me. It shows maturity. Something I lack. Huh. This is not at all how I expected this to go. You know, actually, at times like these, I feel like it's worth noting that I think a lot of transphobes online are just kind of immature and confused. I mean, you can clearly see here, yeah, this guy is just confused. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. Are all transphobes like this? That's okay. Everyone can learn and adjust and move on. Maybe you can just try be nice and people might give that back. Perhaps getting up dudes from r slash trans might be more rewarding than getting banned. I feel like a lot of transphobes are just projecting. They don't understand their own feelings and so they turn that into hostility towards other people. But I try to fight them with kindness because it can work. You're probably right. I'll try. That's all it takes, you know? That's all it takes. Look, I, I don't pretend to be some kind of messiah or something, but hey, to all of my fellow trans folks out there that get loads of comments like this guy's, maybe try to take a different approach. Maybe try, instead of arguing with them and swearing at them or whatever, try to change their mind. Because everyone can change, everyone can learn, and everyone can be a better person. And you're not gonna get through to them by yelling at them. Never mind. We were having a moment. Hi, can I see your big sick d Welcome to the Alice in Wonderland Halftime Show. I'm your host, Alice in Wonderland. And about three hours ago, I woke up and realized that I was supposed to upload this video today and I hadn't recorded the halftime show. I'm also very unwell, so today you get onesie no makeup, Alice. You are very privileged to see this. Anyway, last weekend I started a chess game with you, asking you to give me your best move in the comments. Well, the most liked chess move comment was this one. That's not even possible. See, I actually know the person who posted this comment, and to you, my good friend, you are a silly buffoon dunderhead good time ruiner. You are also exceptionally stupid, because you have forgotten that you cannot outsmart me. I am Alice in Wonderland. And I am almighty. So instead we will go with the next most liked comment. Knight B8 to C6. Hmm, this is concerning. I bet you're wondering what my move will be. I'm thinking pawn. Not, no, not that pawn. D4 to D5. Let me know your next move in the comments. As usual, the most liked comment will guarantee the next move as long as it's legal. Anyway, I need to go have breakfast. At Tiffany's. I don't know why I have this shirt. I've never even watched this movie. Is it a movie? Back to your scheduled programming. Ooh. Darling, I am not marriage material. Do you date boys or girls? Both are pretty good. I want to talk directly to YouTube comments. Oh, interesting. Put on the maid outfits, boys of YouTube. It is mandatory now. Yeah, f yeah. That's the f spirit. Oh, f 
I like her attitude. I may recruit her as an officer in my femboy army in May of 2026. Officers can be girls, by the way. Everyone else has to be a femboy. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. God, you are sexy. When's the OnlyFans coming? I'll pre-order if I could. Oh my God, still, really? How long are people gonna bug me about this? I, oh my God. You can tell how f***ed my brain is that at this point this is the only one that makes me actually laugh. Oh my god. One f***ing letter. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've made too many of these videos. <laughs> I'm straight and a Muslim. I shouldn't have these thoughts. Perhaps if you actually thought a little bit more, you'd realize there's nothing wrong with having these thoughts. Indian gentleman here, and I feel like I just had to say how incredibly beautiful you are. It was amazing. What do you mean was? Has something happened to me? I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I'm six foot three, 275 pounds. What the f is that in normal units? Light brown eyes, goatee, shaved head, and smile with dimple. Think of an offensive D-man build. What the f is a D-man. I look forward to hearing f You're not gonna hear sh from me. But thank you for the vivid description. Now I can give your profile to a police sketch artist and they can finally catch you for what you did in June of 2006, you fucking disgusting parasite. I might have taken that a little far. Nice pics. I want to see you naked and lick your ass. I want to lick cheesecake. We are not the same. No. You bitch. Yeah, you better f apologize oh my god the f***ing audacity reply to my story saying i've got no boobs where did i f***ing put the gun beg for your life go ahead what are you gonna do shoot me yes don't make me bring out the machine gun. This is Fallout New Vegas that's ridiculously overpowered with the right perks. I, I've never played Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> you aren't my friend anymore. Thank God. Hey there again. Really hope that message didn't make you uncomfortable. If you're into it though, I think you're so cute and sweet and would definitely throw a bunch of dollar signs your way for nudes and lewds. I would seriously pay a lot. Oh, it's this guy again. I made fun of this guy in the last- Oh, Interesting. So he watches my videos. Hmm. Lol, saw you respond in the DMs video. Seriously, name your price. You're so cute. Name my price. Send me $250 on buy me a coffee. Also, yeah, subtle plug for my buy me a coffee. Oh, hang on. I have an idea. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who's donated to my buy me a coffee. It really helps. These videos aren't super cheap to make, especially considering my buying of these things. But I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to Holy Cow360, to Beck, to Doug, and to Karma, all of whom have supported me on Buy Me a Coffee. If you'd like a shout out, take a look. It really helps me get things done. But anyway, as promised, I have something special for you this episode. Not only is it exceptionally long and probably quite entertaining, but I have recently experienced the most ridiculous interaction I have ever had in my entire life, and I'd like to share it with you. To celebrate 500 subscribers, baby! like to also say if you're enjoying this video so far please consider hitting the like and subscribe button anyway it all started with this message you are man not woman now transphobes online we all deal with them they're everywhere and i've had thousands of comments and messages from them but this time i felt like investigating i wanted to get into the mind of this transphobe try and figure out what made him tick what made him leave that message for me so i had a quick look at his profile and his profile stated that he was from libya now i find that quite interesting so i sent him back a quick message saying elaborate elaborate i said <laughs> Little did he know that I am the best troll I know, and for this reason I felt particularly equipped to handle this one. You were born with a dick, so what does that make you? You seem really interested in my dick. Have you tried thinking about something other than dicks? I know it can be hard sometimes. <laughs> what? How'd you even come to that conclusion? It's okay, dear, you don't have to be embarrassed. I don't even have a thousand followers. You must have been browsing trans hashtags for a long time to find me. Oh yeah. You think so? It's not culturally accepted in Libya. I know. But I'll keep your secret. Yeah, definitely. I'm wasting my time searching for white blonde trannies. I don't see any other explanation. Why else would you be talking to a white blonde tranny? Isn't it obvious, lol? It's to troll you. But I'm sure you had plenty of troll and bullying back in high school. This guy. 
this guy right here. Is it though? Elaborate. Why do you feel the need to troll me? Because it's fun. What do you mean? <laughs> Ooh, are you having fun talking to a tranny? <laughs> you gotta make everything sexual. Oh, so you're actually not having fun trolling? Am I making you uncomfortable? No, no not at all. I'm good. <laughs> oh, I love that. How's your day going? Terrible. Oh no. Why? Is everything okay? Because I met you. Well, it's okay. Chin up. It can get better. It can also get worse, but it can get better. What time is it in Libya? It's five o'clock in the morning, doofus. Dude. You are up at five in the morning staring at trans profiles. I woke up at three o'clock. That is obsessive. Do you not see that? That's not the point. You think I'm doing it for lusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're a total alpha. Anyway, he just continues on for some reason. Like, I'm shocked that I've actually managed to hold a conversation with this guy so far. And we actually seem to be conversing in relative pleasantry. So what was it like being trans in high school? I transitioned after high school. Ah, oh, so you didn't experience the trauma and stress. What does all this matter to him? Which public bathroom do you go to? Why does it matter to you? What do you mean? I was just curious. And so I say, you know, battle transphobes with understandings. That's okay. For real, I'm here for it. If you have any questions, I'm not a sensitive person, so even if you want to be rude. And you know, he asks me like genuine questions, like he's actually trying to understand. And so I dig a little bit deeper. Yeah, I'm curious about you. Fire away. Why did you transition? When did you want to be a girl? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, never mind. I thought we were onto something interesting here. Are you a virgin? No, nah, I sold that card. Don't tell me your bottom. <laughs> Why are you thinking about me having sex? What are your conclusions either way? I'm just asking, did you lose your virginity to a dude? <sighs> oh my fucking god. The immaturity of some people. It's weird if you got your cheeks clapped. Is it? Is it really? Elaborate. Ugh. Oh, is that a moan of enjoyment I just heard? That's you projecting, bozo. Go to sleep. It's 4.45 p.m. in New Zealand, doofus. Don't call me doofus, that's my thing. <laughs> Is that right, doofus? Oh, he's getting possessive now. And so I dig a little bit deeper. Try to figure out what makes this transphobe tick. Just see how far down this rabbit hole we can go. Oh no, you getting mad? I've always been mad. About what? What's making you upset? Don't worry about it. <laughs> All in good fun though, I'm just joking around. You're bad at it. What's life like in Libya? Not good for the likes of you. Oof. Didn't have to bring that up. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but like, what's it like for you? It's alright, but you'd be shot in seconds, okay. But then he says... I'd probably protect you, though. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I'm f***ing touched. That's actually weirdly nice. Don't take it as a compliment. I don't want to see you get hurt, bozo. Aww. I'm getting somewhere. Fuck yeah, we're building up a rapport. I wonder how far I can take this. I wonder what I can do here. Lol, you'd probably struggle to beat a fly, to be honest. I am squishy. I could lift you up with one hand. If you see me, you'd hide. Why would I hide? <laughs> oh, would I? You know me so well. What if you open the door to a room and you see me shirtless in bed watching a movie? What would you do? Play it cool. Play it cool. Play it cool. We're getting somewhere. I think I'm winning him over. See, at this point, I'm starting to wonder how far I can get. I wasn't expecting much out of this conversation. In fact, frankly, from the first message, I was kind of just expecting us to go back and forth insulting each other, but no. What's happening? I can't believe this is happening. So I try to play along a little bit. You know, keep being my usual funny self, but also like slowly lean into it. Depends if it's my house, I'd probably call the cops. And what if it's not your house? I'd be concerned I've been human trafficked. Yeah, okay, I, I couldn't, I couldn't not make that joke. Would you talk to me or just walk out? And here we go. The kicker. That depends. Am I a man or a woman? Dodges the question. Why don't you come sit down and talk about it? Do you have cheesecake? If you have cheesecake, I'll sit down. So that's your favorite cheesecake. How do you feel about eating cheesecake and watching a movie with me? This is the most bizarre interaction I've ever had. How did we get here from normal transphobia? I must be the most seductive person in the universe. But I go in for the kill again. I think that's more a question for you because you wouldn't lie down and cuddle with a man, would you? At this point, I'm really dead set on trying to make this guy retract his initial statement. Come full circle. Close it off. Who said anything about cuddling? <laughs> Dude, 
dude is so in denial. All oh, right, we're just platonically eating cheesecake and watching a movie on a bed while you're shirtless in a house that is not mine. Lol, of course I would cuddle with you, but I know you would push me aside. <sighs> Here we go. Third time's the charm. Well, now that you've admitted that, you have to make a decision. Are you cuddling with a man or a woman? Yeah. You're a beautiful woman. Come here. I know you want me. Yes. No. Oh. That's how you do it. That is how you change someone's mind. From here to here. All in the space of about two hours chatting. Oh, God. I cannot believe that. That is the most ridiculous thing. This happened a while ago, and even reading these DMs now, I still don't believe that this happened. It's so absurd. <laughs> and I leave him with an ultimatum, just to seal the deal. Fine, I'd cuddle with you, but no more going around trolling trans folk, okay? We're people too. I know you can't resist me f***ing you! <laughs> Whoa, okay. But then he unsent that, and I leave it there. Alas, we are on opposite sides of the world. That won't be possible. See ya. I hope you've enjoyed this special episode. Oh man, that's just the craziest sh I've ever been through. It just begs the question, you know? I've talked to a lot of transphobes at this point, trying to battle them with kindness and understanding and trying to get them to change their mind. This kind of thing really makes me wonder, like if this is what transphobes are really like, why are we so worried about them? So I guess moral of the story and what I want to leave you with is uh, my fellow trans folk out there, I want you to remember this whenever you receive a transphobic comment or a transphobic message this is the kind of person you're dealing with. They are confused, they are projecting, and really all they want is to f you. So don't give them the time of day. I've been Alice in Wonderland. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. Have a lovely day.